In this quick guide, I'm going to show you how to update or replace a file without changing the link or QR code. For example, we have this Bible study manual that we download at this link, rebranch.ly slash TCN Bible study. Okay, so let me just visit that link. So this is it. We also have a QR code. This link is connected to a QR code. There is a QR code that once you scan the QR code, it takes you to the link. And QR codes are useful for a lot of reasons. For example, if you have a link like this that is not easy to pronounce, drive.google.com slash file, it's easier to just scan a QR code than to start typing out the link. And there are a lot of other situations where QR codes are useful. So it's helpful when you have a link and you also have a QR code. If you want to learn how to create QR codes, you can simply Google how to create QR codes in Canva or how to create QR codes with Canva. There are a lot of ways to create QR codes, but uh, Canva is one of them and um, it's easy. It's easy to create QR codes with Canva. So you may want to check that out. Okay. Though the QR code we have for this was actually created with the link shortener. Link shorteners like bit.ly and rebrand.ly also give you opportunity to create QR code. But what I want to demonstrate here is how to update the document or the file without changing the link. So for example, in church, we display the QR code and we display the link and we tell people you can go to the link and download the manual or you can scan the QR code and download the manual. But the manual changes from time to time. For example, this is meditative series part one. Now we have part two. Okay, so how do we update it such that when people go to that same link, they now get part two, the current manual, instead of the one that just finished. That is what I want to demonstrate in this video now there are a lot of ways to do that one way is to simply redirect the link okay if you have a platform where you can redirect link for example rebranch.ly allows that if you are using the paid account so you just go and then you put the new link but that is a bit cumbersome so an easier way and which is also useful in a lot of circumstances especially if you are not using a link shortener for example or maybe you have shared a file with someone and you realize there is an error in the file and you want to correct it okay and you just share the file by sharing a link you did not send the actual file you can easily just update it without changing the link and that is what i want to demonstrate now so this is the current manual let me go to the link again so that you see it. Okay, so this is the link reband.ly slash TCM Bible study. And if you scan the QR code, it will also lead you to the same file. So what we're doing now is we want to update it such that um, we now have the new manual. So you have the new manual saved and then upload it. Okay, so um, it is saved in Google Drive. The manual is saved in Google Drive here. Okay, so this is the current manual in Google Drive. You can see it here, Bible Study Manual, Meditative Series Part 1. So this is it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'll just come here. I'll click on these three dots here. Then I'll go to File Information, Manage Versions, then Upload New Version. So I'll upload the new manual. So I'll go to where I saved that on my laptop here. Then this is it. Bible study manual meditative series two. Okay, so I'll just pick that and upload. Can you see that there are different versions? Okay, so now I have uploaded the latest manual as a new version. So once it finishes uploading, the link will be automatically updated. The QR code is automatically updated. So you save a lot of stress. It's very simple and straightforward. Now, look at what we have here now, meditative series part one. If I refresh the same link without changing the link, if I refresh now, you'll find that we now have the new manual. Do you see? So this is the new manual using the same link. Okay. Now, if I go to rebrand.ly slash TCN Bible study, or if I scan the QR code, it will still lead me to that same new manual. You see, so automatically it has updated itself. So look at it, the same link. And whether we use the link or the QR code to update. Now, sometimes it may look as if you are still seeing the old one because of caching in your browser. So if you experience that, just clear your browser's cache. Cache is C-A-C-H-E. Okay, so just clear cache in your browser or open in an incognito browser and then you are going to find the updated file. Simply refresh. Okay, you are going to find the updated file. So, is that simple? so that is how to update a file without changing the link or 
QR code. You can update the file, you can replace the file and still access it using the same link or using the same QR code. I hope that helped you. If you have questions, feel free to reach out and ask. Bye for now.